Grand Prix. Usual terrible waste of good champagne, but that's the uh, World Drivers' Championship situation now after 11 rounds. And the next Grand Prix is at Monza, the Italian Grand Prix, in two weeks' time. You'll see that, of course, on BBC. And there are highlights of today's race uh, tonight, just in case uh, you missed it. Now, some other news and motorcycling. Reigning world champion Wayne Rainey tightened his grip on this year's 500cc championship with victory in the Czechoslovakian Grand Prix. Rainey came home ahead of Australian Michael Doohan, his nearest challenger for the title, with American John Kaczynski in third place. The victory means that Rainey now has an 18-point advantage over Doohan with just two races to go. Rowing, Britain's women's Coxless Fours took the silver medal with an excellent performance at the World Championships in Vienna. The four, Alison Brownless, Claire Davis, Anne-Marie Dryden and Kate Brownlow, finished four seconds behind China but held off the USA to take second place. One football result for you. Huddersfield Town 1, Bradford City nil. a Kieran O'Regan penalty uh, gave Huddersfield the three points there today. Now the plan of campaign for the rest of this afternoon is that very shortly we'll be showing you the women's marathon from the World Athletics Championships. Uh, shortly after that, well, say about uh, 40 minutes or so after that, we'll be going swimming, the European Championships, and then a full round up at uh, 3.30 of uh, the rest of the World Athletics Championships from Tokyo Day 2. Now, Daley Thompson has joined uh, Dave Moorcroft and myself, and I suspect that you were fascinated by that 100 metres earlier today. Yeah, Des, I think it would probably be true to say it was probably the greatest 100 metre race ever run. Really? Mm. Well, if you at home uh, don't know what happened, uh, we'll keep it up our sleeves because we're going to show you all that, as I say, a little bit uh, later on. But let's start now uh, with an event that happened in Tokyo in the small hours, as far as we're concerned the women's marathon. And every right to be, and that's confirmation of the result and the British placings. Veronique Marrow of Britain didn't finish, and Dave Moorcroft's got a comment on that. Well, Sally Ellis and Sally Eastwood did very well to move through to 10th and 11th, but uh, Wonder Pamphors had a reputation of being um, a big city winner, London, New York, Boston, but never done it in a, in a major championship, and uh, she didn't run the European Championships last year but she's done it this time, world champion, and she'll be hard to beat in the Olympics next year. But I'm sure Rosa Mota will be back with a vengeance. She has a fantastic record, has won every title, and uh, I would have thought she'd quite fancy the idea of one more pop at the Olympic title next year. Good Dave, thank you very much indeed, and uh, in about uh, 20 minutes' time or so, we'll be reviewing the whole of day two of those World Athletics Championships from Tokyo. Some fascinating events there were too. Meantime, it's the European Swimming Championships in Athens. We're reviewing now uh, the last day's action but we'll begin uh, with the British gold medal winning performance of those games with Andy Jameson and Hamilton Bland. Well, some good performances there, and we'll have more from the swimming sometime after 5 o'clock for you this afternoon. Now, around about that time, too, uh, the Ryder Cup team for the forthcoming uh, match in the United States should be announced. Bernard Gallagher will uh, cross the T's and dot the I's as far as the team is concerned this afternoon. He hasn't yet, uh, but as soon as he does, we'll let you know about that Ryder Cup team. Right, let's concentrate now on events in Tokyo a few hours ago, day two of the World Athletics Championships. Some momentous performances there, especially in the 100 metres, and it all began this morning with the semi-finals. <laughs> 